TNGM The Show presents... Talking Nerdy, March 2024. We'll cover X-Men 97, which has had a couple episodes so far, so we'll talk about that a little bit. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador, and our guest, special guest. Oh, Marvin Goof here. Marvin Goof, yes, who did a Dune 2. He did our Dune 2 review, Dune Part 2 review to be more specific. And so we are here to talk nerdy to you. We've been doing this, what, like almost 13 years now? Yeah. Right? Crazy. So we are here to waste our time so you don't have to, right? Like we're going to watch everything good or bad that's nerdy, you know, try to play as many things, do as many things, so you don't waste your time. You can save it for the best of the best, Absolutely, right? Yeah. So that's what we're here to deliver on. This show is easily my most anticipated show or, or movie or game or anything of all time, which is X-Men 97. I've been wanting this to come back for forever. I've rewatched it over and over and over and even rewatched it before it, it came back. And I absolutely love the new episodes. I think it's, yeah, there's the animation is different. The times are different. The voice acting, some of the voice acting doesn't sound the same. People are older, some people have died, some people have been replaced. It's not the same. It's not going to be exactly the same. I th even that, I go, I think it's I think it's better to the best of its ability that possibly can be, and even better it, in some ways. Blows my mind. I, I, I was like in tears, literally, dude. I was in tears because there's so many moments. <laughs> and it feels like, it feels like they picked up where they left off, but in the future, if that makes any sense. You okay. know what I mean? Like, what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm not doing nothing. Help me fix my truck. I gotta pull the transmission out and put a new one in. <laughs> oh, you mean right now, right now? Yeah. yeah. I can't do it right now, right now. When? Shit, probably later. Later, later. Like, but it's the animation, to me, I think is better. And like a lot of this, like they're they're to the their fullest potential and abilities and everything, like with Storm and Cyclops, like everyone's their best at their best to me. That's what I think. So, I'm I'm gonna say right away for me, it is a strong must see, must stream. Yeah, it was a good show. I I don't know. There was just something about the animation that it wasn't completely getting me. Hmm, okay. It wasn't bad, but it just wasn't like completely sold. Okay. That, that happens sometimes. You just watch something and you're just not. not you can't up. really dive into it that fully, huh? Yeah, okay. but the characters were really well done. Uh, I like the twist with Magneto. I think that's a really good twist and it makes perfect sense. I like how they're bringing back his origins. Talk about his origins too. Mm. And then, of course, if you've watched any, if you know about any X Men. Cable's in it. <laughs> yes. not, not, not the cable you're wanting, but he's in it. I'll take it. Because uh, you know who Cable's parents are, of course. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hmm. In the first two episodes, you do get to see Cable quite a bit. Just not where you expect him to be. Because, hmm. yeah, I mean, that... Speaking to that, I unfortunately haven't seen a lot of it, but, I mean, that was my childhood. That's what made me aware of comic books. Like, I, and I know that, at least as far as I understand, the, as the later years went on, the animation with the old series actually turned out to get a little yeah, worse and worse. it did. Yeah. Like, it did. And at least from all the images I've seen in this, I, I understand where you're coming from, though. Like, it is very different. Like, it's... It's almost similar to anime. It feels like it's a lot cleaner than it feels like it should be. But I mean, if it looks it looks better than those lap that last season back oh, yeah. in the nineties, I'm I'm down. So yeah, it's definitely better than the last season in the nineties. They definitely uh, did improve some things. Uh, hopefully, it's good. Uh, there are some things that does have me worry about the show in general. A few weeks before the show came out, they fired the main writer of the show oh yeah um, okay. and so they have written up to season two hmm. so it'll be interesting to see if they keep the original plan of season two or if they just scrap it all together and get a new writer which i got i hope they don't do that because 
this person seems to know the feel of the show. Hollywood writers are not someone you trust very much. Mm. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is a lot of the original team is still part of this. The original yeah. writers. And we saw these, a lot of these, oh, it's crazy that they did this, but at the... Uh, the Mexico Comic Expo. Yes. We did get to see the original showrunners yes. there and some, some of the creative... Some the voice like, cast. Voice cast and, and just some of the characters. One of the animators was there mm -hmm. too, and it was funny what one of the animators had mentioned in there. Mm -hmm. At first, he he would just he wanted it to look like a big open Marvel universe, and so he kept like describing characters as who they really are, and every time Fox would be like, "No, we don't own the rights. You can't do that." Oh, <laughs> and no. then and then he just starts naming them just random characters like random guy in background that shoots webs. <laughs> Yeah. Like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. And yes. so you'll. They can call him Webster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Webster. <laughs> Webster. <laughs> they just see a bunch of like random Marvel characters in there because he managed to get away with it by not calling them by their name. Bastard. It's hilarious. I will take that. But yeah, it's to me, it's it's like going back to your childhood, but it's even better to me. Like, you know, I've I've joined a lot of groups. For, for me and for, for us and for X-Men. And what I've noticed and have always noticed is that the people that love the X-Men the most are the people that have always been the weirdos, the freaks, the geeks, the nerds, the people that you say, I don't like this, they're weird, you know. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averno. Yeah, okay. Uh... I'm an elf barbarian named Calamastia. You know, there's always like Hispanic people, the, L the LBGTQ community, Hispanic people, black people. I mean, there's so many people that I know that are these marginalized groups and they go, that's me. And they see them there too. Like you can, like you can, you go like, oh, that bishop looks like me. Right, like that's exactly what yeah. I mean. just just pointing that out. Yeah, right. Like there's sunspot, and then there's just like, or there's just characters, personality-wise, you know, be like, that's me. It doesn't have to be. There's so many people. That's how it resonates with them, and it still does. And it's crazy that how much later are we? And we're still dealing with the same stuff, and it's crazy that it, it feels like we need this now too. I absolutely love it. I just, I can't get enough of it, and I can't wait to get more, because you can tell that they're going based off the comics, too, right? Like, there's that happened in the comics, where Magneto did that, where Storm loses her powers, so I'm hoping that she also gets Mjolnir, oh. you know? I don't know if they can do it. I oh. think they can do it, because <laughs> they are owned now by Marvel, so I think they can. I don't know if they will, because I don't know if they've introduced him in that universe, because they, they did have, like you said, Spider-Man, they've had... Uh, Captain America, they've had other characters mm -hmm. that are Avengers, and now they absolutely can do those things, so I think they totally should do it, and I think if they stick to the comics, I would love to see even House of M come to fruition, yes. you know, uh, when they schism even, and even the new uh, Krakoa stuff, like, I would love to see them just even get caught up to current, you know, and, like, let's just do this forever. Like, yeah. I want to see all these storylines, you Take know. Take the dive marble, yeah. See, yeah. We'll see what happens. Absolutely. So, let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm spore it. But, yeah, I could talk about X-Men all day. Yeah. So that's that. And that being said, like I said, we talked about some of our merch already of the stuff we're going to be making for you all for next month. I'm sporting our Dragon Ball style shirt talk nerdy to me because of course um if you've heard akira toriyama passed away which is such an uh, such an icon such a legend is of course dragon ball but he also did like chrono trigger and then he did dragon quest games yes yeah, so he he's just like it's so crazy when people go all he did 
was put pen to paper and how much, right, like drawing and writing and how much people did he affect. There is a generation of nerds because there's nerds used to be basement dwellers, you know, attic dwellers maybe. Now look what they are. They're the gun show, right? Like, yes. and, and I'm not even one of the big ones. Like, there's dudes that legitimately look like Broly mm -hmm. because of Dragon Ball Z. There's dudes that look like Goku. Like, there's a generation, and then, like, even like you said, the other stuff, like, that he's done, it's just crazy how he's changed, you know, how, how I he's changed, obviously, even uh, America, the America's Western civilization, because I know that Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z is massive in South America even, right? Because yep, they indeed. came, they were there before they, they were in, in the States. So, like, they're, they're huge. It's huge everywhere. And it's so crazy, the influence of the guy just made drawings and, and wrote some stuff. And that's it. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Indeed. So, if you want to do it, do it. Be inspired by that. And make, let's create. Let's make those stories, right? Absolutely. And inspire awesome. people to work out, to do more, to grow, to be better. So, yeah. And then I also got uh, my Azul Beetle pants that I designed. I don't even know if I have these in the store, but I just loved the Blue Beetle movie so much. It spoke to me. I know it didn't speak to everybody. It wasn't really necessarily meant to speak to everybody. I mean, hopefully it, it does to us and then to a certain degree, but I, I thought it was phenomenal. I think it was one of the best things, if not the best thing, that DC's put out in a long time. So, especially if you're not, like, into superhero stuff, I, I think, like, you won't notice a lot of the things, I won't say ripped off, but definitely, you know, we're taking notes from, like, Iron Man, and, and I mean, there's so much, right? There's so much now. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Well, I, I mean, that pretty, pretty much sums it up for me. There's a lot of good stuff coming out, you know, so... But you got the out. Halo. I did get the Halo shirt right here, so, you know... And we're going to have to hook, we're gonna have to hook him up with the Star Trek, oh, you know? Oh, yes, absolutely. We'll, we'll get that Star Trek merch yeah. out there. We don't have much now, but like I said, we'll start pumping it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Yeah, so for sure. We'll, I don't we'll know, they might just all forget about Star Trek, like how everyone conveniently forgot about Michael and Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dumbest thing oh, I've no. ever seen in my life. <laughs> it, basically, Michael Burnham, the main character, when they go into the future, they're like, okay, well, we're all going to forget about this character. Just all interesting that was really, things. like, literally what they said. It was bad. Oh, man. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. I love uh, I, I love the main chick though. Oh my gosh. She was also wasn't she also in Walking Dead? Maybe. Yeah, she Maybe. was in Walking Dead. Um but I mean I, I love the first season. I absolutely love the first season of Star Trek uh Discovery. So and I know there's other stuff that's been really good I've heard of Star Trek that's that's out there. What's what's the other one that they have besides Discovery? Uh, I know there's Picard, obviously, which I've yes. heard both good and bad uh, things, but Beyond mostly has been good. Pretty Brave solid. New, Beyond, yes, Beyond. Brave yes, New the World other is out there, but Brave New Worlds is out there somewhere too. I think, uh, I think, no, yeah, not um, Beyond um, Stranger Worlds. Stranger Worlds. That's yeah, the one that's I've the one. heard a lot of good things about. That one's been kind of good. Even Lower Decks. Uh, happens before uh, Kirk takes over the Enterprise, and so it's. Uh, Focused on Pike's uh, turn as captain. Okay, sweet. So, and then you're rocking the uh, talk nerdy to me Star Wars shirt. Yes, and and this is like our so this is like our first one of our first shirts, right? Like our stuff's gotten way better. Like we've added like light swords. Are we? You know, <laughs> beam swords. Beam swords. You know, <laughs> but yeah, like there's some legit stuff. Like we have like. You know, the double one, the, 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 the white ones. Like, we have so many different designs that Slay J designed that are just phenomenal. And I, and I feel like I need to get those ones because they're so great. Yes. But, yeah, there's there's so much stuff. So And what's great, too, is so every month we donate 5% of our profit to charity. So help us help them by buying our merch. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for March, it's uh, Center for Reproductive Rights. Um, last month it was Noble. I forget. I know that for April we're going to do Autism Speaks. Mm. So I've done my research. That's what we're going to cover. That's going to be charity that we're going to be donating to. So please help us so that we can give, get, help them out, right? We want to we wanna make a positive influence on our society, 
on our world, Absolutely, you know? Absolutely, yes. And that being said, I want to give shout outs because the, the people that have po uh, positively helped us as well. Of course, at the top of that list and always at the top of that list, we have to give out a shout out to our best bud Atticus who just continues to grow and get better and do more interesting things on his YouTube channel mm -hmm. as a YouTuber in Vietnam, as a teacher in Vietnam, and just showing us, you know, slice of life, you know, anything, any really anything goes. Like, I mean, now he's covering, he's he did, he's done a deep dive of, of Dune on his, so he, he has nerdy stuff too. Like, we've inspired him to, to do some nerdy stuff on his channel so definitely check him out he's one of the greatest uh we have burn attention this the superpower list check them out on facebook and definitely on x we also added uh there's gone gold podcast po boy pod billy d's gmart 8 pesky gremlins they retweet us a lot so they're awesome cinematic anarchy filmmaker pod uh, mk jekyll and hyde they're uh they're across the board they do uh, on oh, online web comics and stuff, nice, and and I just yeah. love I just love the message that they send. Like they're everything that they say is so inspirational. Mm -hmm. So definitely check them out. The Film Rage guys, those guys, they they review every single movie, good or bad, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. They waste their time, mm -hmm. so you don't mm -hmm. have to. Mm -hmm. It's and some stuff is surprising. You'll be surprised. Like some stuff, you're like, oh, I thought that was gonna be garbage. They give just enough to where it doesn't feel like completely spoiled, but they'll spoil if they're like, we're gonna spoil so that you don't waste your time because you shouldn't. Like we have to spoil it so that you, you know, do that. So they're great. Web Imagine Service. They do music and promote music. Amerame Media. They they're similar to us, but they're different. Uh, and Riot TV. They do uh, streaming stuff, which is hilarious. Uh, Zarin67, and then newly added is G Nuts of Horror. So if you're into horror, definitely check them out because they do reviews for stuff for them. So that's where you're gonna do your get your horror stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share us. You know, with your friends, your family, your dogs, you know, your pets, whatever. Let's talk. Let's keep talking about this stuff. You yeah, know, get this, this get uh yes. Yeah, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. We're more than halfway there, so that we can cover more stuff for you and and like i said like us on on facebook and and help us out you know we really appreciate it we love it thank you for getting uh where we where you've gotten us to now on 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 everything we're 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 on everything we're on x we're on the threads we're on instagram we're on facebook we're on youtube of course so talk nerdy to me stay nerdy planet earth stay nerdy.